Sí. <laughs> you have come, come you have. The powerful one who is the spawn of the dead master. <laughs> Nile knew you would come, she did. Yeah, sure enough, Lily senses that she's a ball spawn. You can see here her name in green. But what is she doing here then? Well, yeah, asking who she is, I guess. Why, the Nile is I, the Witch of the Glade, I is called, and for good reason. But questions, you have so many questions, no I. Answer all your questions, Nile will. Nile has been waiting for you, and she knows why you come, she does. It is the boy, that traitorous fool of a half-giant boy of mine. You come because of Yagashura. My boy has been a pain for you and I both, and you wish his blood, yes? Are claiming that uh, Yagashura is her son. Yeah, asking what she means. Nay, the boy did not spring from Nihilee's loins. Nihilee did see him for the spawn child. He was wild, but a babe and stole him from the crib. It's interesting. Raise him here in this temple as her own, did she? Yeah, so how has Yakashura wronged Nihilee then? Because a betrayer is the boy. Did Nihilee not raise the boy? Did Nihilee not teach the boy the old tricks? And the boy did leave Nihilee here to rot. Steals her heart, even. Steals her heart. Alright, so Nihilee, I think she said she's the Witch of the Glade. Stole Yangashura as a ball spawn child and raised him as her own taught him the old tricks we have to assume that that's the invulnerability that he's learned <laughs> I think Lily's hoping that maybe Nyla can teach her some of those old tricks but then that this is the part that's not quite making sense then Yakashura actually stole her heart Alright, asking why uh, we should believe it, maybe. Nihilee would kill her boy, but Nihilee can nothing do without her heart. So Nihilee needs Lily's help. Alright, asking how to make Yagashura vulnerable. That, Nihili, will do. The traitorous boy will not even see it coming. Nihili will have her revenge. Listen closely then, spawn child. Once a great cleric of Ball was Nihili, but then Great Ball is dead and Nihili is forced to turn to the older arts to survive. Nihili steals the spawn child Yakashura to raise in this temple, did she? And she explained. A new Lord of Murder did Nihilee hope to create. Foolish old Nihilee. Teaches the boy the old tricks, did she? Teaches the boy to remove his heart, did she? Alright. So I guess Yakashura gained invulnerability by removing his heart. Yeah. And he will keep it afire and bathed in magical flames. While his heart burns, no harm may come to Yagashura. No death may come until his heart is quenched. 
Only Nylee knows the words and the R's to extinguish the boy's heart. But Nylee needs her own heart to use the R's. And the boy stole her heart years ago. It's a bit unbelievable, but it sounds like... Yeah. <laughs> we need to find two hearts. If we could uh, trust Nylee. Nylee's heart to grant her the power to, I think as she said, extinguish Yagashura's heart, which we also need to find, that grants him invulnerability. But yeah, that would be reward enough for Lily to make Yagashura vulnerable. But I think she would expect some kind of treachery, perhaps, if she came back with Nihilee's heart once she regained her power. But I guess she won't worry about that until we return, if we can find these hearts. Asking where they might be. The Fire Mountains. Must be a reference to the Marching Mountains. He will keeps her poor heart there and hiding his as well. All right. Go, spawn child. Go and find Nihilee's poor heart. Bring me the boys as well. Nihilee cannot wait. All right, surprisingly, it's actually a nice change. <laughs> Things did not necessarily end up in combat. But, uh, that was a, quite a surprise. Alright. Yes? Yeah, I think for now, Lily will trust her, but I think if we can find both hearts, expecting probably some treachery once Nihilee regains her own heart. And it doesn't sound like it would be likely that... <laughs> How may I assist? She'll teach Lily any of the old tricks. But actually, I'm not sure that Lily's that interested in invulnerability. She's more interested in immortality. The wilderness can be deceptive. I am yours to command. Much like, um... I think I talked about that a little while ago. How she's eligible for lichdom. <laughs> that interests her more, I think, immortality than, um... Invulnerability, because she normally wouldn't want to put herself in harm's way anyway. But you know what? I think we'll utilize the pocket plane ability. What? To prepare for the journey to the marching mountains. Safinar is good servant. Oh yes. The group needs me? All right. Well, muzzle, well, I guess we'll hold on to that. It's a gem. Just odd that, you know, I think we'll put it away. Free up some room. Probably won't worry about learning spells until this scroll case Maybe fills up. All right. Sire. Storing the nymph's tear. All right. Yes. Really just needs to set up a spell trigger. In
Yeah, that's awfully handy to have a pocket plane <laughs> to come back to to rest. Saspinar is good servant. Oh yes. Ready and willing. My magic is at your command. Hopefully, uh, the travel time is something amiss. There really is no travel time. Hopefully. Using the uh, portal. Ooh, shiny ones. Okay. Doesn't look like any time has passed. All right, so I'll pause it here. I guess next time we'll be going on to the marching mountains looking for Yagashura's and Nihilis hearts. <laughs> Been watching, thanks, and uh, later.